All right, creatine is becoming more popular amongst Fit Club members. A lot of women are trying to focus on building muscle and we've all heard great things about creatine. I'm one that endorses creatine for anybody that is looking to put on muscle. I help you with the dosage. I help you when you should be taking it. And I think that it is a supplement that a lot of women could be benefiting from just by taking that's gonna help them to lift more weights, get a little bit stronger and also volumize of muscles. When it comes to creatine monohydrate versus creatine HCL, which is hydrochloride, the creatine monohydrate is the most common and widely used form of creatine. So creatine monohydrate consists of creatine molecules bounded to water molecules, hence the monohydrate. It's a white, odorless, and tasteless powder. Now when it comes to the creatine HCL, so hydrochloride, HCL is a creatine molecule combined with hydrochloric acid. This formulation is believed to enhance the solubility of creatine in water and it makes it more concentrated. So basically they're saying that your body can faster and more readily absorb the creatine HCL than the creatine monohydrate. When it comes to solubility, creatine monohydrate, it means that it may not dissolve as easily in water, which can lead to some creatine setting at the bottom of your beverage. Uh, and some people actually report feeling more bloatedness. When it comes to the HCL, it's marketed as being one of the more water soluble, which means that it can more mix easily in liquids, potentially reducing the bloatedness and increasing the amount of absorption that your body has. When it comes to dosage, creatine monohydrate, the Recommended dosage is anywhere from three to five grams per day. Although some individuals may use a loading phase, which I've done in a previous video, with higher dosages for a short period of time, and then they reduce down to more of a maintenance phase. When it comes to the creatine HCL, the recommended dosage for HCL is generally lower. It's actually around one to two grams per day due to its increased solubility and potential for improved absorption. When it comes to the monohydrate, creatine is actually one of the most readily available and it's actually one of the most cost-effective creatines that you can take. And it's actually been more extensively researched than the HCL. So the HCL, you're gonna probably pay about 25 to 30% more. Now they say that it's more effective, the HCL, but the creatine monohydrate is actually proven by research. So the HCL is marketed as one of the best out there. But when it comes to actual proof, they're saying that creatine monohydrate has more effectiveness and gives you the best bang for your buck. So in summary, both creatine monohydrate and HCL are forms of creatine. They're used as a dietary supplement, but creatine, like I said, is more established, it's more cost effective, and it's more extensively studied. When I've given out creatine to some of my belly burners, I've had almost like a 75, 25% response, meaning that 75% have had no issues. In fact, if you look at any of the pre-workouts or any of the good pre-workouts anyways, they'll have creatine monohydrate and a lot of the good ones are actually including creatine HCL in the same formula. So the women that I've given it to, the 75% have had zero issues. But one out of four people, they report bloatedness. So we try to reduce the amount that you're taking at once and we disperse it throughout the day. But either way, five grams first thing in the morning is when you would wanna take your creatine. You can also mix in your creatine within your water, your juice, your protein shake, so you don't actually notice it. And then it'll be more of a slower digesting creatine. And in the end, it doesn't matter, you know, if you take five grams all at once, some of the research out there says that you urinate anywhere from two to five grams when you first wake up. Creatine is found in meat, and so if you're eating enough meat, you're probably getting enough creatine. Taking extra creatine is gonna give you that little bit of boost that you might want when it comes to lifting heavier and also seeing more muscle volume. But when it comes down to which one should you take, I always go with the creatine monohydrate first because for 20 or 30 bucks or 40 bucks or whatever it is, you can get a giant bottle of this stuff and it would last you six months to a year. Whereas the creatine HCL usually comes in a pill form, but you get less of it. And although they say that your body absorbs it more, I am yet to see the research proving this. And I'm sure there is, I just haven't found it yet. So in my opinion, I would recommend to take the creatine monohydrate five grams every single day. You can do two grams in a water, just do it as a shooter when you do your morning detox shot with the water and the lemon juice and just put it back. 
If you notice that you're feeling bloatedness or you're feeling like upset stomachs, then I would take one gram and put it in a scooper and just drop it into all your different types of fluids that you're gonna have throughout the day. And it being dispersed like that shouldn't have any effect on your stomach and it should just be added into your muscles to volumize you, to help you lift heavier and to ultimately put on more muscle. So if you guys like this video, please give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. And in fact, I'd appreciate if you shared this channel with your friends and family out there on Facebook, just let them know that this channel exists. And if anybody is looking to get started with myself and my Fit Club team, head on over to our website, www.fitclub.fit.